So these are two poses that are very effective in releasing the upper back, chest, and shoulders. And the first will be a passive one, and the second will be a slightly active one. So for this first one, we need the block, and we're going to rest the shoulder blades on this block. And then a second block above that, maybe about five or six inches that we can rest our head on. If you don't have two blocks, uh, you could always use a pillow, uh, cushions, something to rest your head on. Um, and if you don't have blocks at all, you could certainly use something similar, rolled up towels that are uh, rolled up and firm uh, that kind of give you that same height as a block. But you want something firm. So we first come down and we want the block, the top edge of the block to be right at the top of the shoulder blades. So that's what we're looking for in terms of lying down on this block. And you might need to finagle a little bit with this. Just kind of feel for your shoulder blade and then feel for whether the shoulder blade, the top edge there, the shoulder blade is right at the top edge of that block on either side, nice and even. And it should feel comfortable. So tweak yourself and then let your head rest on the other block. And I like to start the head higher than the shoulders if possible, just to make it really comfortable so that you can really comfortably settle. <sighs> Legs, knees can be bent. They can be straight if that feels more comfortable. They can be in any formation. You could even have a bolster or blankets under your knees here. Whatever feels most comfortable to you. I'm gonna come into constructive rest with the knees coming together just to eliminate any activity through the legs or have minimal activity through the legs. So now once the shoulder blades are really nicely planted, then release those arms out to the side. Take a few nice big breaths. Oh, just let go. Feel the weight of your body sinking downward. Feel your shoulder blades sinking into that block, your arms releasing into the floor. Feeling grounded through your lower body, neutral through that lower body. And just taking nice big breaths into the upper body. Perhaps even directing breath into any areas of sensation, any areas of stretch that you might feel. And once you spend several breaths here and you find things are opening up and releasing, you may want to then take your head a little bit lower. You can turn the block on the lower height and then check in again. I actually feel like I want to adjust my block. And if you feel like at any point you need to adjust your block, go right ahead. Oh, same thing here, just hanging out. This is a passive therapeutic pose. We're breathing into the areas of sensation, perhaps at the same time affirming to ourselves that I am open, congestion is released, I let go of whatever I'm holding. Those are great ways to hang out here using affirmations and visualization to hang out in this therapeutic pose. So you might visualize tension releasing, congestion softening, whatever makes sense to you in your body. And so you can hang out at any one of these states. And I could also go all the way down with my head down on the floor, on the mat. And that would be the most challenging position in terms of gaining stretch or release. <sighs> So whichever place you feel most comfortable, go ahead and hang out there for anywhere from one to even up to four minutes. It's not a contest though. So do to the extent that it feels right for you. Start with maybe just a minute, minute and a half or whatever feels okay. It's okay if it feels challenging or if you experience some discomfort. 
Discomfort is okay. We can breathe through discomfort, but no pain. We don't want to allow ourselves to sit in pain, to lay here in pain. In that case, we back off or we come out of it altogether. But if we find that edge of discomfort, of challenge, that's where we want to play. That's what we want to explore in this shape with our breath. So again, wherever you want to stay for a few minutes, and then when you're ready to come out of it, if your head is all the way on the floor, I recommend making it be level with your shoulders or higher than your shoulders, and that will support the neck as you then slowly roll to one side and ease your way up. So that's the first one, a passive therapeutic pose. The second is going to be a little more active, but it's still going to be on the ground. Lying on the back. Again, with the legs, it can be whatever you want. Arms out in a T pose, T shape. Take a moment just to feel, just to feel the upper body sinking. Feel the weight of your hands settling down. Feel the shoulder blades sinking. Notice how much of your body is feeling connected to the earth. Notice where you might feel some holding pattern. And then let's begin with the left arm. So the right arm is going to stay as it is, fully settled into the floor, keeping it as neutral as possible. And the left arm, we're lifting just barely off the floor and we're lengthening as if we're being gently pulled, offering some traction to that left arm, almost as if it's growing out from the shoulder. Now, as you do this, there's a little bit of engagement in the core so that you don't pull your hips and your legs out to the left with your arm. So you do have to engage that core a little bit in order to just stay uh, neutral or stay center with your hips and your legs. But it should be minimal, not, nothing too aggressive as you just gently traction that left arm. And as you traction, wiggle those fingers, roll the wrists, keep that elbow uh, soft, right? The joint stays soft as we lengthen and traction here. We don't want to lock any of the joints here. And if you notice the right arm activating, relax, take a breath and relax that right arm into the floor again. So keeping again, everything else as neutral as possible, just activating that left arm barely, hovering it barely over the floor. Doing some gentle movement as you lengthen it. Take two more breaths here. And then exhale, let it go. So if it wasn't comfortable or if it was painful to hold it that long, then don't hold it that long. Hold it for as long as it feels uh, okay. Again, discomfort, we want to try to work through. So if it's uncomfortable, see if you can just breathe through it, work through it. Um, again, no pain. So once the arm is down, shake it out, let it go. Wiggle those shoulders a little bit. Maybe even give your legs a little break, a little different feel. And then settle the arms again, especially that left one. Just let it go now as we work with the right. Lift the right, lengthen, traction. Keep that left arm neutral if it starts activating. Take a breath and let it go. Slight engagement in the core. Keep the hips and knees centered. All sorts of gentle movement if that feels good in order to keep the joints of the right arm, right hand soft. Breathing with this. So again, for several breaths at least. But if you can hang out here a little bit longer, holding that arm, lengthening, tractioning. Honor your body, of course. And maybe it feels good to even go longer than what I do. In the video and if you're comfortable with that if you want to work a little bit longer feel free to do that too again just really pay attention listen to the body honoring its signals two more breaths and if it 
feels okay to lower it down, go ahead and lower. Ah, big breath, let both arms just sink. Feel the shoulder blades, maybe they feel like they're sinking even more deeply into the floor now. Maybe they feel even flatter, those shoulder blades against the floor. And with that next breath, lengthen the legs, arms up above, nice big breath. Ah, as you take your full body stretch, and if there's any other movements you wanna do while you're here, go ahead and Feel free to do them before you make your way up. 